For that first big play we gave up, we have gotten better. Let's just keep this thing going. All right, Jenny, thank you very much. Sermon running the ball on first down, and he'll be tackled for a loss. Colin Miller making the stop. Every time I put the jersey on. Oh, terrific story. First down and 10 at the 10 for Justin Fields. He's in trouble. Sack. Safety. No, but close. Onus comes on that blitz, and he just runs right by Josh Myers, the center, and is in the lap of Justin Fields. Fields had no shot. A couple of Nebraska Cornhuskers in there, including number 44, Garrett Nelson. Know if it's going to change. And Fields throwing out wide, and this time it's a lob in. Whoa. He walks off the field. Well, and here's that play you can tell, yeah. I mean, he he clearly is going down, and I think that ball is prior out. Prior to the injuries is that the ball carrier was down by contact for a first down. Remember, you can go back and in replay create a turnover if in fact that ball is out, which it looks like it is, as long as the recovery happens in the immediate action by the opposing team, which it does as JoJo Doman dives in immediately and recovers that ball. Gus, unfortunately for Ohio State, and, and you understand why, that ball is out, it looks like, before Olave was down. The ruling on the field that the ball carrier was down by rule is under previous is under review. See as he's going down, he's kind of on top of one of those Nebraska defenders. He's also their leading rusher, but as far as the running backs go, T has the 29 yards. Fields. Oh, and Field is sacked. Great job as Caleb Tanner shot the gap and comes up with the big play. Fields. And Fields bottled up and taken down. Sacked. Drake Anderson, more of a scat back. There's Evan Hall, and that is going nowhere in the backfield. JoJo Doman among those that blew that one up from the get-go. On third and short, that one goes backwards as the Cornhuskers make a great defensive play. JoJo coming on a stop on the outside. And just, he's actually got quarterback contained. Sees the ball's handed off. And second down off play action. Deep ball down the middle, and it's tipped in the air, and it's intercepted. Miles Farmer off the deflection. Farmer inside the 45, and that ball might have come out again. Nope. Yeah, that's a Big Ten standout. My auto's owner's insurance, you see right there, I believe it was Newsome. And the ball was underthrown by Ramsey. He had Lee's open. And you don't have to turn around for the ball. No, hit his helmet. Yeah, hit his helmet right, right off there. The helmet. You don't, there is no face guarding in college football. Okay, so you don't have to look back for the ball. Third and five. For Ramsey and Northwestern. He'll throw. Tight coverage intercepted. Down the sideline. There's Farmer again. And Farmer is second pick of the day took that one back, setting up first and goal for Nebraska. And watch him step in for a telegraph by Ramsey and just underthrows John Rain. And that's an, e that's an easy pick right there for Farmer. Hats off to Ramsey to save the touchdown and make a play. Uncharacteristic throw. He telegraphed it like Western Union and threw it right into the hands of Farmer, who about took it the distance. Game of nine. Pressure coming from Ramsey behind him. That ball is out. And that's loose on the field. Reimer might have it. Reimer came in from behind. Nope, Northwestern got it back. Looks like he was going against Peter Skaronski, the freshman. And then he doesn't just go for the sack. Does the old T.J. Watt go for the ball? Able to get it out. And he eyes down his receiver, Allen. Unfortunate play for the Huskers. Anderson trying the right side. He goes backwards. Nowhere to go. Colin Miller and company. 119 to go in the third quarter. Watch Reimer. 28. Shoot his gun right there. That means he attacks downhill. He sees the lineman pull. Yards of any active Big Ten quarterback. On the reverse. Here's Riley Lease, and he goes nowhere. That was sniffed out from the get-go by Cam Taylor Britt. 
Well, you got to learn how to stay home as in. Watch number five, Taylor Britt. Just stays home and in. Pow, shoots his gun. Clifford to the air. And you're going to see it's going to be the coverage outside on Dotson. Dotson makes his break. But Britt sees it all the way. 53-yard return for Nebraska. And we've talked about decision-making. And that was one of the things Coach Franklin said he needed. A lot of overthrows. Inside the red zone now. Clifford again with the key. And brought down by JoJo Doman. From the backside, you're going to see him come in the formation. He sees Fryermuth coming down. He has saw an advantage there on the left side of the line. Checked it to the run right there. Clifford keeps it under pressure. He's that fumble and scoop by Deontay Williams. A scoop and score for Nebraska. In the quarterback position. You see Deontay Williams. He was lined up. On the edge of the line of scrimmage right there. He does a nice job reaching his arm around on that one. Popping the ball away from Clifford. From the seven. That's four. He ran into a red brick wall. The Delrius Payne. First to meet him. You're going to see Dotson come in motion here this time. You know, this the, the Nebraska defense... Just kind of stuff. Levis keeps it. And brought down. Markel Dismute with a two-yard loss. This is a nice job by Dismuke. And this is understanding the situation, but what's transpired on this drive? They know that Will Levis had dropped back a number of times and taken off like that. Muth has been out of the game quite a bit today. does changes at the line of scrimmage to his receiver. Levis under pressure and set. Luke Reimer. And the defensive line for Nebraska really comes through there. Caleb Tanner, we talked about him. Yeah, so would agree. Peters gets to start at quarterback. He's got the rock. He's going to keep it. And he fumbles the football. It's loose. And it looks like Illinois recovers. Nine. See, here's the hit. Yeah, look, that knee was down and got ripped out. 21 in the third yards per carry. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Average. Here's Peters. Look at it. Coming off that backside. It's Will Honus. See Will Honus get yeah, Honus. on the outside there. Peters never saw that one coming. Fortunate not to lose a fumble there. So the black shirts come up with the stop. They're manning up on the outside with one safety. Receiver screen. Navarro. And the black shirts snuff that out. Here's second. Chase Brown is bottled up. Ty Robinson was the first to meet him. And that defensive line just looks completely different from what we saw in the first half. You see Casey Rogers with all kinds of space away from the trip side of the formation. Brown brought down. Good play by JoJo Doman. That yeah, Doman chases that one down from the backside. You get that trips formation into the boundary. Try and run the other way. And Doman has some backside responsibility. Field spots Navarro, delivers a perfect ball. Good stop. Damian Daniels. 340 pounds of Damian Daniels fighting through the blocks. Goodson. Hit behind the line of scrimmage. 
Markel Dismuke again. From the eye, it's Goodson. And he's got it. Ooh, wow! He ran into a field of Cornhuskers. Damian Daniels, the first to meet him. Gonna use the fullback to try and lead block. Never even had an opportunity to get there. Damian Daniels, nice job. What? The next day, was right back at the facility. Petrus, plenty of time. Throws and picked off to Gabriel Boodle. Makes the pick. Fifth pick of the season for Petrus. Running back's job there to take it the rest of the way. Goods in again. And tripped up by Reimer. Get some other tacklers an opportunity to rally to the ball. Petrus, throw, caught. Smith Marset fumbled, but out of bounds. You see Smith Marset. Woo, that thing just got locked out. Only able to get three. Petrus under pressure and sack. Casey Rogers gets the sack. Remember, Purdue did convert a third and ten last drive. Plummer pocket collapsing, and Nebraska, who has struggled getting pressure this year, gets it there, and Garrett Nelson with his first sack of the season. On the start, everyone's on the line of scrimmage. A lot of confusion. They rest. Just five. What that does, Brandon, it gets one-on-one -on -one for each single defensive player. They get a one-on-one -on -one rush. So Purdue facing another third and long, and here comes the pressure. Stilly, he gets in for the sack. Yeah, there's Ben Stilly right here. Working on the inside on Sam Garvin in a nice swim move. And able to finish the pass rush nicely for the sack. Each side has won four games. And again, Purdue won a close one here last year, 31-27. Pressure. Plummer down for the third time of the half. Talked to us earlier about how the 30 front was messing with Purdue's offensive line. Just rushing three. I guarantee Garrett Nelson and Ben Stilley will be fighting over that one. They're both going to claim, hey, I had two sacks. No, I had two. <laughs> How about one and a half for each of you, young men? The amount of possessions or defenses on the field. Third down, wildcat situation, and that was sniffed up beautifully. Caleb Tanner makes the tackle. It gives you too much time as a defense, and I get this is all part of the running game, this little zone read, but... When you get a Wildcat quarterback in there, most likely it's going to be a run. So you're going to pin your ears back and try to get upfield. From Colorado Springs. Save the day. Wiley caught behind the line of scrimmage. Loss of a pair. He was energy. They played with joy. P.J. Fleck mandated that his team would. And nothing working at all there. Potts swarmed and brought down. Well, one of my favorite players on this defense, Garrett Nelson, he's just active all the time. He's one of these guys that it doesn't matter if he makes the play. Maybe the final play of the day with the wind at the back of Minnesota. And they choose not to use it. They run the football and they lose a yard. So the golfers are going to take another crack at it quickly and they go backwards. Oh, I thought the Sorry. signal on the field was touchdown. And they get it off. Maybe they shouldn't have. Maybe that would have been a time to call a timeout. 51 yards there on the connection. Melton coming off a big game last week in the win against Maryland. Maurice Sitkowski, his 15th career start, second of the season. And he gives it to Isaiah Pacheco. And Pacheco is wrapped up in the backfield. Will Honus leading the way. The linebacker. And now it's going to be third and long for the Scarlet Knights. Uniform was actually when he was at the Big Ten Men's Basketball Tournament filling in on Fred Hoiberg's team. There's another carry by Young will now bring up third down. This is where it gets interesting with Sean Gleason, the offensive coordinator. He does more than just line up a QB. Both guys are in there, but this time Sitkowski is dragged down to the ground. Felt Darius Payne, the junior Juco transfer. Center and the guard up the middle. 
It's the top of your screen and just runs a little stunt right there. He waits for the penetration to get upfield and times it's after the snap. Something to mess with your eyes. Sinkowski hit as he releases it outside to Bo Melton, but Melton is dragged down well behind the line. There's Cam Taylor Britt again, putting his thumbprints on this game. It's off the block, sheds it. There's someone there. Boom, get off me. Langan keeps, and Langan's not going to get anywhere near there. Garrett Nelson coming away, fired up. He makes the stop, Nebraska football. On your screen, he's going to be unblocked, and watch the, the hustle. Backside, just tracks Langan. He goes, I, I don't have, my responsibility isn't on this jet sweep over to my side. I got my eyes on Langan. You're going to try to go power away. He did the first play of the game for Rutgers. Try one here. Second down and eight. Well, Sinkowski had time, and then the pocket collapses. They're going to say that's a free ball. Pacheco jumps on it, shooting in there. Yeah, Tanner runs a stunt, comes up the middle of the field, and you're right. Even if he did throw the football, it definitely went backwards. So that's a lateral, which would make it a fumble. Langan throwing off his back foot, just heaving it downfield, and Cam Taylor Brick rises to intercept it. An inopportune time to throw that first pick, and a nice job by Taylor Britt to climb the ladder.